Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So don't forget for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey, you guys. So I wanted to come on here and um, basically put together a video of all this drama that went on today. It's finally ended about 10 o'clock at night. This entire story played out like a ghetto-ass version of Telenova, and we've all been watching this bullshit play out on social media for the past, I swear, all day, but it started last week, okay? So if you guys don't know, The Shade Room made a post and basically was a video of Shekinah Joe talking to some random girl on live, and the girl had no edges. And so Shekinah was like, you know, what are you using on your edges? What's going on? And she says that she's using wild growth oil and kaleidoscope. Okay. My friends, like, what's going on with your hair? You got alopecia? No, my edge is just thin. Let me see. I got hair. My edge is just thin. Where your hair at? <laughs> what do you mean where my hair at? This, this, my, I got hair, bitch. I got, I got hair now. I'm going to take it all off for you. Can you tell what that's <laughs> I got hair. It's just, yeah, I got, um, it's this, um, this, this, what is it that, it, it's some edge control stuff I be using to slick it down real good. But I got hair. I'm saying, what, what were you doing? What, how did you pull your hair around your front like that? I guess, like, quick weaves or whatever. No, but I'm saying. I'm trying to get it to like that. I be using wild grow and everything, and I got some kaleidoscope, so I be using shit to make it grow. You been using kaleidoscope lately? And Kaleidoscope is a brand made by a woman named um, Jessica, but she goes by BB Judy on Instagram. She started her own hair products, and she's really cool with Supercent, who started this makeup line. And I only really know them because I follow Tokyo Vanity. And Tokyo Vanity is just funny. I've been following her for a while now. And so they're all, like, you know, friends, and they're all from New Orleans, and they all hang out. So earlier today, you know, I'm out of my business, you know, on the streets of damn Instagram. And Tokyo Vanity goes off, and she's talking about how this is why she don't really help people. It's always some fuck shit. Go ahead and check out this video of Tokyo Vanity going off. See, this is a prime example. Why, and this is no offense to my fans or anyone's fans. This is a prime example why I never get personal with fans. I never get them my personal line, my personal number, and I don't want to hang out. Because this old 40-year-old bitch, first of all, bitch, I'm 24 years old. That's one. Second of all, bitch, I will pull up and slap the fuck out you. Third of all, bitch, you do not know me. And bitch, you spoke to me on FaceTime for three seconds, bitch. And I say, hello, I like your wig and you look beautiful. And bitch, I put the phone down because, bitch, I don't know you. I'm not friendly and I don't really be doing no talking like that, just to be quite frank. And last but not least, bitch, keep my motherfucking me name out your mouth. Bitch, I have never spoke to you. Bitch, I don't know nothing about a me and a Shekinah address. Bitch, Shekinah has my address and has been to my house several times. And bitch, you is too old for that. Bitch, you 40 years old. Bitch, this the highlight of your life. Bitch, you ain't never talked to nobody you been a fan of. Bitch, get your puss ass off. I slept the fuck out. All right, so you guys just saw Tokyo Vanity snapping. So I'm like, well, damn, what happened to sis? You know what I'm saying? Why is she all mad? Well, then I just started getting tagged in a bunch of stuff concerning um, BB Judy, Shekinah Joe, the girl Queen B, and Supercent. So basically what happened is that after that video went viral, people started attacking Shekinah and saying, you know what, you're trying to clown her, you're throwing shade towards BB Judy. Her edges didn't fall out, she actually had alopecia. People running around saying, I clown the girl, I never clown the girl, I never, hey, I never thought about clowning her, I had nothing to do with that, you know what I'm saying? This better be good, nigga. Fuck you. Get off. Okay? Um. Yes, it is. Um. Old girl flew the girl out of town or whatever trying to get rank off of it. First, that girl cussed me and the girl out. I've been going through Texas and motherfuckers talking about I'm broke. I ain't got shit. All kind of shit. Only to turn around to try to make herself look good after she done cussed me and the girl out. After she done flew people out of town and did all and it aggravates me because... People be on here and saying, you know, giving props to the wrong thing. People do everything for a shout out. If I want to help somebody, I'm not going to put it on Instagram. I help people all the time and I don't have to go make a video to put it on Instagram to show y'all shit. Yeah. No, you're not, girl. I don't got to go put on 
no name brand shoes or dress up to do all that to make y'all fuck with me. That girl ain't got to go get her hair done and go to the dermatologist. Ain't no that gonna help her hair come back. And you can start saying that whole name on my motherfucking page. You understand me? Because I'm not jealous of no motherfucking body. Y'all all over there with that sympathetic bullshit talking about, oh, I, this so sweet and people tagging me in this shit. Don't tag me in that shit. She only did that shit looking for clout. She ain't did that shit because she give a fuck about that girl. I'm mad because, I'm mad because I've been going through this shit for three days, y'all. I've been getting calls from her. She want to FaceTime me because she want to get my facial expression. I don't got one. I'm not I'm about it. I'm not mad or jealous or nothing no bitch got going on, baby, because what God got for me is for me. I don't have to get out here and put my business all out here in the streets and show y'all I'm doing this and show y'all I'm doing it to make y'all like me. I don't got to And so um, basically Judy reached out to the girl and decided to fly her down to New Orleans. They gave her a complete makeover, gave her a $600 wig, basically hooked this girl up. Um, they did her makeup, super sent, bought her a bunch of like, you know, makeup products and everything else. You know, hooked the girl up. My edge is just thin. What do you mean where my hair is? I got hair, bitch. I got some kaleidoscopes, so I'll be using shit to make it grow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Orleans. Hey, what you mean? I'm like, is this I'm my sister? I saw her the same thing. I'm like, girl, is this real? She like, yeah, I'm like, pinch me. <laughs> Again, you see she's about to turn a negative into a positive. And that's all I'm about. I think on social media too, like social media marketing and you know I'll be watching I'm a big you. fan of that. You talk super all y'all. I y'all I love y'all. I just say time. John is also giving you um, a no race, no gender outfit, and Super is giving you crayon paper. I want to cry. In custom, nobody has. I know. I ain't never seen nobody with a plastic. Thank you. Alright, now we're going to. 
I'm not in the mood. Thank you. <laughs> hey, John. It's so How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? How are you? Hey, Layla. Hey, <laughs> how are you? Hey, how are you? I know. I love you. Me. And then the girl turns around and decides to be messy and she ends up telling Shekinah Joe that Supercent and B.B. Judy, well mainly B.B. Judy, was talking shit about Shekinah and all this mess went down to down social media. It has been a shit show and like I said, I've literally been following this story off and on all day while I've been running errands and to take the youngest to, you know, go get his hair cut and then he had practice and I had to go get my oldest from work. So in between all this running around, I also had a damn doctor's appointment. In between all this running around, I've been keeping up with this fuck shit. And it seems like it finally ended tonight with the burning of the damn $600 wig, okay? This entire situation is a hot damn mess, but I have all the footage. I'm I'm gonna put all this stuff together y'all watch it enjoy it sip tea it's gonna be a long video kick back y'all wanted me to put all this stuff together y'all stop dming me this shit don't send me no more videos i am done for the night y'all go ahead watch this it's gonna be long <laughs> but it's crazy and then let's go ahead and get the discussion popping let me know what you guys think <laughs> yeah i could do some that you did a good ass job thank you Girl, I just want to, you know, like, say, you know, I ain't on here to say nothing bad about nobody, but, like, a lot of shit was crazy, you know, like, I just heard a lot of shit when I was on this vacation, semi-vacation, you know what I'm saying, and I ain't saying, I, I fucked with you, Chicana, and I fucked with everybody that I was with that night, you know what I'm saying, Can everything, I but. I you about that situation, though. First of all, I want to say that I was never trying to offend you. Like I, okay. never, I, I never, I, I never meant, I never tried to offend you. And when I was looking at your hair, I was really like concerned about your hair, like trying to help you understand what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I also, yes. I also was giving you as me being a cosmetologist, my best opinion for any of this. Like as me being a cosmetologist, I felt like you know, for your hair growth, it was it had nothing to do with wild grow or any other product. I felt like you know you needed to go see a dermatologist. I told you that, right? And also, I and I told you I went. Right. And I, I went, and I, you know, I also want you to know that I never ever recorded anything to put it into the world. Somebody else pre-recorded that. It was not me. Okay, I believe you because I've been seeing a lot of stuff. Right, but you I, know, you know if, if I if I was to tag it on my Insta snap, it's because somebody tagged me on it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I believe. You. So, and, and, and I another believe. thing, when you got ready to do your makeover, no one ever reached out to me to try to do a makeover with you. You know what I'm saying? That was totally done on their own. You feel me? It had nothing to do with me. Okay. Even, even somebody hashtagging us in the video saying, you know, don't use a product in vain. I never used any one product in vain. I got you. I never talked bad about that product to you, did I? No, <laughs> you was like you been using kaleidoscope, but I didn't talk bad <laughs> and you about told it. me to keep, and you told me to keep using it until I go to the dermatologist. Yeah, yes, I you did. You keep using it until you go to the dermatologist, right? Yes, but you did. did. Yes, so, you know. At the end of the day, I'm just confused on why you know when you went out of town, somebody Facetime me and said they wanted a video to go viral. They didn't need me a video to go viral because if someone is doing a good deed, then they doing it from their heart. Exactly. And you know what? I didn't even know all of that. Somebody, they told me that when I, like, after we, we was, everything was done and over with, then they told me. Somebody told me I didn't go do a live viral with you. Because I didn't go live and get on the video, you know, the video that was made of you. Because I didn't want to get on the video. What did I do wrong? I don't know. She, I didn't even know you were supposed to get on the video with me, though. I That's what I'm saying. I didn't even know you were supposed to get on the video with me. I if I knew you were supposed to get on the video with me, I probably would have said no myself. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt some type of way. You know what I'm saying? But I had to come and look at the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, figure out and read the comments and read what's going on. Judy ain't even at me at the... um. In the in the um thing she sent me, she sent it to my email. I mean, she sent it to my text. 
So I feel like if you, why you ain't at me? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Too, but why would I? Why you won't But this is what I want to know. Why is somebody sitting up to you talking about me behind my back? Saying that I'm broke. Saying that I don't have any money. Saying I sit on Instagram and I hurt people. I hurt people feelings because I don't have nothing to do. Telling you my business about where I work at. And, and telling you. Girl, them your people. Huh? Them your people. Them ain't my, them your people. people. Them ain't my people. people. I, don't, I don't want to be. Them well. People. Listen, 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 listen. Those are not my people. That young lady paid me one time to do an event for her in 2014. And she bought a post from me off of Instagram one time. So it's only been two times I had. It. Oh, and then she told you I was going to charge her $7,000 to host the event. I did because she wanted me to host the event. Well, I told her that's how much I charge. So I'm just asking you to tell these people. Have I ever said anything about that lady to you in a bad way? No, you ain't never said anything to me about Judy. And I put that on my mama. I never you ain't never said anything bad about to me about I never said nothing no. negative about that young lady, right? No, I've, I've never heard you say nothing negative about you. But have you super heard, have nobody. You, heard, you told heard. me super, super is your friend, you baby, know, baby, and all this. Don't worry about these comments. Fuck these people in these comments. I got, I'm talking to you. Okay. Okay. Have you ever heard anybody say something about me? Yes. Did you hear people talk bad about me? Yeah. So what was said about me? You messy. I'm messy. You messy. What else? Pretty much. You doing the, you know, you doing that one thing you working with. I ain't gonna put your business out there. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. That's all you really got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just messy. I'm messy. I don't, what about me? What about my finances? Oh, they say you, you fell off. You fell off. Or whatever. That's what they say. You fell off. I fell off. Yeah. And what else did they say? That I'm what? It's okay. It's okay, baby. Tell the truth and shine the devil. See? This is what I want to explain to people. When people doing stuff from the heart, stuff like this don't happen. When people doing stuff from the heart, I was never supposed to be brought up in no conversation. Especially about people that don't know me. So like I said to you again, please, 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 tell what else was said about me. Can't nobody do nothing to you. Ain't nobody. Only gonna thing they say. You. Only thing. Okay. Only Ain't thing I was. It was told. With you. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing. I want you to tell these people how this girl did me, and I ain't never talked about. It. Okay. Tell these people about your experience and how you got cussed out. You need to tell the people. You need to tell the people the truth. Okay. Well, when I went there, I had to tell take the whole like, truth, Lord. <laughs> Tell the truth and shine it down. Okay. Lord, let this lady tell the truth, Lord. Let her clear me up out of this, Lord. Lord, because I'm not a bad person, Lord. I ain't did nothing to deserve none of this, Father God. I had nothing to do with none of this, Father God. All I did was took a lie from somebody, Lord, and, and tried to help her with their edges, God. And I meant well when I did that. I wasn't even trying to be funny, Father God. Father God, please tell me, Lord, let it come through, Lord. Let these people yes, expose they who they are, God. Let them I do expose, believe you. Father God, because they came to mess with your child, which is me, Shakana Anderson. And I hadn't asked for any of this, Father God. I didn't ask for the hate. I don't even know these people, Father God. I don't even have a relationship with these people, Father God. These people are about two posts from me, paid me for a bit, Father God, and bought a post from me, Father God. Father God, let this woman of God, let God come on through and let it be known what these people did to me when they took her on a trip, Father God. Father God, please let it be known, God. Let her tell nothing but the truth today. Oh, she kind of don't lie about how I've been disrespected, Father God. But how I have no money, Father God. How I am thrown out, Father God. God, expose these people, God. Expose these people who use your name in vain, God. Expose them today, Lord, on this line. Amen. 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 Go ahead, baby. Okay. <clears throat> Tell so. the truth. From the beginning, I'm going to tell y'all my whole trip. From the beginning, I, um... Wait a minute. Tell how you got the phone call. Tell it. 
oh yeah, they they text me telling me they'll fly me out. Like, well, Cleveland been had a blizzard, had a blizzard the whole weekend. So they called me and told me they'll fly me out in the blizzard. And I'm like, no, I can't fly out in no blizzard. You know what I'm saying? This, this, that, and the other. So long story short, they end up telling me they'll fly me out Monday. So I said, okay, you know what I'm saying, and everything I was supposed to do, and they gave me my stuff, and I missed my flight. I had to wait for a whole nother flight, you know what I'm saying, and I had, when I got to, I flew from Cleveland to Atlanta, Hold and on, I had to wait, wait for wait, another wait, flight. Wait, 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 that you flew somewhere to do a promo and you had to fly. You didn't fly from Cleveland straight to New Orleans. You had to go to third party city. Yes. Go ahead. So she put you on. So she put you on flights. She put you on flights that you had to speak. She put you on connected flights. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Now on my way down there, on my way down there, the flight was cool because I had in seats and I had a window seat. So I was cool. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Mm -hmm. So I went mad, you know, I wasn't stuffed in between no two people or anything like that. So I was cool. So um, when I get there, she like, um, when I finally get there, I got there like 2.30, 2.17, 2 something like that. I got there about that time and um, I had to walk to the front of the terminal find, to find deal or whatever. So I walked to find deal. Oops, don't say no name. I walked to find dude. You know what I'm saying? And then um, we walked, and then we found Judy, and it was cameras flashing, you know what I'm saying, like, and everything, and that took me right off guard, you know what I'm saying, because I didn't see nobody standing over here to come flashing no pictures on me, you know what I'm saying? Well, she had already told me, don't be camera shy, you know what I'm saying, so I wasn't worried about that. Anyway, we, you know, we go, and, you know, we doing a little thing or whatever. She asked me where I want to go eat at, and this, this, that, and the other. So we drive to Kaleidoscope, and we drive to Kaleidoscope, Listen, 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 baby. Don't say the product name on my page. Okay. Do not say the product name on the page. And from now on out, we're going to call the girl her. We're going to call her her. The girl okay. Out, okay. We're going to say her. Okay. Her friend, we're going to say friend number one, friend number two. Okay? Number two. I got you. I got you. Her. We are so anyway. Her is her. Okay. Okay. So, um. I'm fucking up. I'm nervous. She kind of. Don't be nervous. Don't... Let God take control. Let Him use you. Okay, now we'll, we we get to we the place. This, I got so, a message. So come on. When we finish with, when we go to the place, and you know, understand everything. Like we do our little thing, you know, where she give me the stuff, you know, understand and everything, and then she tell me what what they about to do for me and all this your stuff. So we go back and we leave, and then we go to the people that did this for me um place or whatever you know what i'm saying you know you know the situation i got my makeup down this is that and all the other and then the people came out gave me some clothes you know what i'm saying and stuff like that which that was all cool and everything i love y'all for that um but they gave you some clothes because they got a promo they didn't give you anything the right people who gave i know the, clothes, the people who gave you the clothes they got a i know them clothes yeah, I know. Okay, come on. And, um, so you didn't go so to the everything, mall. You didn't go to the mall. No. You didn't walk into the no. actual mall and they buy you. A, they do you a real transfer. They just flew you out, gave somebody a shout out on Instagram to come bring you a couple things. Keep going. So we leave there. We go eat at I think it's Landry's Landry, mm -hmm. and then we leave there. And then I'm just so shook up by that point. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go to the hotel. Like, I don't even want to hang out no more. You Why know are you like, so, I'm Wait a minute. What took point that made, you know, you got to talk about this. In the midst of you going to get your hair done and getting up, you got to talk about this. No, we stopped stop at uh, somebody's house or whatever so to do something. I got a phone call, you guys. I got a phone call. I got a, I got a FaceTime. And I didn't answer the FaceTime because I was filmed. Okay, in the midst of me filming, I called the number back and I got a phone call from her. And she said, Hey, hey, I said, Yes, I can help you. She said, I want to go viral. I got this girl out here, I flew her out here, and I need you on FaceTime so we can go viral again. I said, So we can oh, go wow. viral again. I said, What I need to go viral for? You don't need me to go viral. Y'all can just go viral by yourself. I don't need to be, I don't have anything to do with that. I never had nothing to do with this. I'm not trying to go viral. Y'all can do this alone. 
She got the her she got mad at me and hung up in my face. I was like, oh, okay. You know, I kept on going on my day. And then her sister ends up reaching out to me. And by now this young lady is mad. So after I didn't go on FaceTime with you guys, what happened? Tell about how people was talking about me. Tell about how her friend, well, her friend had to say how I was what I was and tell it. She said, y'all, she said, um, it, it, of course, you know what I'm saying? But um, one thing that stuck out to me that Super said was, of course, she tr you trying to get capital. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, you're trying to make capital. You know what I'm saying? It's your product. You know what I'm saying? And I understand all that and everything. It's your product. And I'm not using your product in vain or anything. But you know what I'm saying? I'm like, when she, when she said that, I'm just like, oh, well, damn. <laughs> you know, like, really? Like, she, 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 um, Super told me she was trying to make capital. Um, capital off the, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, three and three. Super tall. Uh, three told you that you that um her was trying to. Who, I'm trying to make I'm capitalize. Trying to, who trying to capitalize? Me or her friend? Her friend. Her friend. She's like, of you. course you. She told yeah, she said that. To use you. you. You might as well say. So her friend That's told why I like you that she was trying to use you. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, okay. So, um, I want to know what was said about me, though. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't really had nothing going on since, um, Tiny, and you know, you fell off. You don't got no money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just out here trying to make it. That's why you always be on here being messy. You know. Keep going, girl. Keep going. That's pretty much it, Shekinah. No, it's not it. This messy. Like, she, like, this, this plan out that you just, you know what I'm saying? You disrespectful, you messy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you got no money. I don't care if you got no money. Shit, I ain't got no motherfucking money. Ain't nobody trying to give me no money. You only give me a little bit of money. You ain't give me no money. I'm trying to fix my chair, girl. <laughs> it's okay. You ain't give me no money. Right. You ain't give, you know what I'm saying? The little bit of money that you gave me, shit, I make that in a week. So... So, okay, so my thing that I want to say now is you got flew out. You was on connecting flight. You got your hair done. Girl, when I had to come home, that was even worse. Oh, and then did, 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 I didn't get home. Did, did, wait, did she not? Why did you feel uncomfortable? Why did you want to leave away from them? Because, like, I don't, I don't talk about people. You know what I'm saying? Like, why did you want to get out of them people's presence? Why you said, fuck that, get me away from y'all, it's too much? Because y'all, you know the one situation when y'all, we was all on the phone together, you, me, and my sister, that shit was getting on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, I'm out trying to relax and do something that I don't do. I don't got time for this. And then we get in the car and she's still going off. You know what I'm saying? She on the phone with all these different people. You know what I'm saying? I supposed to be your product or I supposed to be who you here for. And, but you want to talk to everybody else and get mad and, and say, I'm not mad at you. And I don't, I, I mean, I was, I did thought she was mad at me. You know what I'm saying? Because of my sister or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? That's I'm just like, I just... Said, your sister reached out to me and was just saying to me, like, you know, that you was in your feelings because she came in and told you that I didn't want to get on... I didn't want to go on camera with you. And I didn't understand if You know, I, I was confused because why do I need to be on camera with anybody? No. See, that's where she messed up at because I never said that. Because when, when Judy asked me... Did I want to get on camera with you? Oh my God, I keep, I don't know, girl. It's all right, girl. It's, been, it's all right. Go ahead. I, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, um, I didn't want to do it either. When she asked me, I didn't want to do it either. That's why when you, when you, when we got on the phone and I was like, um, and I was like, um, get off here. When we got on the phone or whatever and I was like, um, what'd I say? If she don't want to talk to me, I don't want to talk to her. That's remember that. Yeah. That's why I said that. But it wasn't that I didn't want to talk to you. But it see, I didn't know I didn't everything. Want to to I, didn't want, I, didn't, I didn't want to be recorded talking to you. I didn't want to be on a recording. I don't understand. To you. Okay, and I, I understand that, that. But see, wait a minute, be quiet. I don't have anything against Super or Judy. It looked like them people got something against me. Cause I have I ever talked to you about Super? No. Have I 
Have I ever talked to you about Judy? No. But Super talked about me and Judy talked about me, right? Mm hmm And they billionaires. Yes. So I don't understand why nobody talking about me. I ain't did shit to nobody. Girl. These people is crazy. Okay, and then you don't need to pay them people no attention, friend. Fuck them people. And then, okay, after you did all that, uh, Judy cussed you out yesterday, right? Huh? She called and cussed you out, right? Because you had to told me what was said, right? Who? I can't hear you. You I said what? Judy cussed you out yesterday because of what you told me, right? Yeah, she called me and told me, you know, like, she got a disclaimer against me and like, she could sue me and all this to set in the other way, whatever. Yeah. It is what it is. I don't got nothing for you to sue me for, bitch. I ain't got no money. And, and she said, I ain't got no money, so I ain't got shit for her to sue me for either. <laughs> you know, so we gonna roll this boat then. We gonna roll this boat together. Off, and they millionaires, but they worried about me. They, they bringing me up to you. And how ghetto I am, but they millionaires. Why in the fuck is millionaires got time to be talking about if I'm ghetto or Oh, yeah, you say super set out and follow her off Instagram? Yeah. What was that about? Because I guess you know somebody mutual friends with something. But that's not why I followed that lady off Instagram. I think super is amazing. I think she's funny. I think she know how to do good makeup. I only follow her off Instagram because she wasn't following me. I don't understand how people are talking about they for girl power. And they love the women so much, but can talk about people behind their back so bad. And Tokyo don't have a goddamn thing to do with this. Because Tokyo ain't said nothing about me, and I ain't said nothing about Tokyo, and Tokyo fool with it. Those are friends, her loyalty is still friends, but Tokyo ain't got nothing to do with it. Tokyo ain't in this, she don't got nothing to do with this. Tokyo don't have anything to do with this. What you mean? Huh? Oh, I was answering the follower. Oh, I'm letting you know Tokyo don't got nothing to do with this because Tokyo wasn't talking about me. No, she wasn't. Tokyo no, Tokyo, she, she was just like, me, so when she... <laughs> no, because, we, no, I'm going to tell you this, though. When she FaceTimed Tokyo, Tokyo like, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what are you talking? Girl, that shit was funny. Now, that was funny to me right there when she did that one. I did. Tokyo, Tokyo had nothing to say about me. Tokyo has nothing to do with this. Tokyo is a sweet girl. She's amazing. Yes, she um, is. I love Tokyo. It, all of those girls are amazing. Judy's amazing. Tokyo is amazing. And Super is amazing. I don't have anything against yes, you. Yes, know, But my whole thing is this, y'all. Stop using God's name in vain. What God got for you is for you. Stop clout chasing. Yes, it is. Stop that's one thing it is. Stop clout chasing thinking that that's going to get you somewhere. Don't use me to make yourself feel big or whatever it is, okay? It's not fair. It's not right. Um, I'm happy you got a makeover. I'm happy you look amazing. Thank you. You look good. Your hair's popping. You know what I'm saying? But I just want people to know I was pretty before all of this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let, I them just, know that. let them know you were pretty before I was all pretty before all of this, honey. I was amazing before all of this. I just came on I don't know why I came on your your on your page that day, Shekinah girl. I was sitting up here at home not doing nothing, girl. And I'm just like, let me say, add me, add me. I said, add me two times, girl. And that second time you added me, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I wasn't doing nothing, girl. And I just seen it down there. And I'm like, oh, my God, she added me. So I just got on there. And I never knew all this was going to happen. You I know what I'm saying? I never knew all this was going to happen right. either. But sometimes people have to get exposed the other way. And now it's a good thing to know, you know, People really be praying on your downfall, you know what I'm saying, and hoping that you go down. And I ain't did shit to nobody. Like I didn't hate on nobody products. I didn't hate on you. I ain't hating on them girls. They can call me messy. They can call me ghetto. They can call me broke. They can do all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm cool with it. But it's don't you. make me look bad. Don't try to make me look bad though. I'm so sick of people trying yeah. to make me look bad. I feel you. You know. So it is what it is. Perez, go do your interview with Judy, baby. What you waiting on? I'm sure she want to get one up. Go get it. <laughs> I was reading that, too. <laughs> yes, they called me messy. They say I'm a messy person, and I don't even know those girls. I fell off, but I don't even ain't get them. But I don't know them. That Judy has never been my friend. Um, the other young lady has never been my friend. 
she ain't even tagged me in the post. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why wouldn't you tag me in the post before you aired it? Before you aired it, though. My whole thing is before you aired it. Because she used you. She used you. Well, it, at the end of the day, honey, I'm happy with what I got done. It is what it is. I ain't been on no vacation in how long? Well, you really so didn't go on no vacation can't... like that, friend. That wasn't really no vacation. You should have. She should have did something bigger than you for that, because she used you. And now your face is all over whatever she gave you. Eight hundred dollars. You got used though. You got used because she thought somebody was trying to talk about her product. And nobody ever tried to talk about her product. Nobody never hated on no, her. No, I didn't. And like I said, I said I've been using Kaleidoscope. Yes, I have. No, you and you even been said using you found you. You said you've been using wild and Kaleidoscope. Right, but you said other things, okay? So what I'm saying to you is nobody never talked bad. I told you you need to go see a dermatologist. Yeah, and I told you I went. But you made they gave me some shampoo. Right, but the shampoo ain't it, friend. You got to go to the dermatologist where they give you some shots. They gonna they gonna fill this stuff up with I think it's a steroid, and they gonna give you they gonna give you some shots in your head, and it's gonna start make like it's gonna start making that bulb come back, like it's gonna make it open up. You know what I'm saying? And when that bulb start open up, then you gonna take your kaleidoscope and you put it on in there, and then you'll see. You know what I'm saying? I'm you'll take wild grow whatever product you wanna use. You see what I'm saying? And it'll start helping your hair. How am I supposed to feel? How am I supposed to go into 20 and still bless people and all the rest of this and people think I'm fucking cloud chasing? How am I supposed to make money off of miracle drops on her? Off of that? Tell me how was I supposed to... And at the end of the day, she mentioned my brand name. She mentioned my, my company name. I reached out to her. She posted that on her page. Hey, I said in specific... Let's turn this negative into a positive, boo. Let's turn this negative into a positive. The fact that she's turned it into what she's turned it into has got, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. And people that's been following me, people that fucking know me, know how I am. Since, since that's what they saying, why would I randomly just talk about somebody? Why do I have to do that? I don't have that to do. If I had a conversation, I responded to something that was said to me. I'm trying not to upload all these motherfucking videos because that's not what the fuck I do. But y'all pissing me off. Y'all pissing me off. I flew that girl from fucking Cleveland on a fucking $1,300 flight. I included my friends. She got free everything. She stayed in a nice ass hotel, okay? Nice ass hotel. I took her out to eat and everything, and guess what else she did not fucking say? I said, you know what? If I'm flying you down here, boo, let me pay you for your day at work, right? And so... She had, since she had to miss two days, I said, you know what? Let me pay you for your week at work. I gave that girl a motherfucking check for a whole week worth of work. Since she had to miss work to come down here and get a makeover. To be ungrateful and savage like that. I never had no beef with Shekinah. I have her phone number. We do business. I'm a business person. I only reached out to the girl the day of the event to put her on FaceTime with the girl so it didn't look like shit. I was going to do a FaceTime with you to solidify the video to avoid any shade because I'm a person to avoid controversy anybody fucking know me know that you ain't never seen me with no, in no controversy you ain't never seen me fighting you don't even see me arguing in the fucking comments so it's sad that I gotta come on fucking social media to defend myself behind a good deed and then we talking about successful women arguing. You done let this stupid asshole come up in this bitch and do this bitch me as another woman. Cool. Cool. I ain't tripping because you know in order for that I ran with one time. We've done business together. I don't wish her no bad. But I don't, I, I'm not about to kiss nobody ass to have a conversation. I know I can repeat whatever I said. I know why I said what I said. 
So stop trying to depict me into something that I'm not. And stop trying to make a good deed something that's not a good deed. Period. First of all, bitch, don't play with me. I wasn't even in your presence for five minutes, bitch. Judy called me on FaceTime when she was in a car with you. You came and told Judy that Shekinah was talking to your sister and she was mad that she wasn't a part of something because she went viral with you. You came back and tried to be messy, bitch, and tried to tell Judy Shekinah was talking about her, bitch. That's what made Judy text Shekinah. I can't gain a motherfucking thing giving you free products, bitch. Ain't like you know how to do makeup. I got a whole PR team, girl. I can't make a dime off you. If anybody know me, bitch, they know I give out free product all the time girl it's nothing here you sat in that car and kept saying bitch the video went viral two weeks she kind ain't never reach out to you or now she's trying to reach out because judy finally reached out to you bitch don't try to flip it hole and when the fuck i told you she kind of was broken fell off bitch i don't know two things going on in that whole life and she kind of bitch you too fucking old hoe to be letting some stranger asshole come tell you anything bitch when you got both our numbers but you could have called and put that hole in my face and i could have told you that hoe was a fucking lie these bitches don't even know me these bitches say they making millions. Why in the fuck is you worried about little old me? And it just, it just not Stop good. crying, girl. It's not good. I'm mad about that shit. Fuck that. Fuck that. And I'm also crying about my blessings that God that did for me. I ain't crying for them hoes. I'm thanking God. Hey. I fuck them hoes. I thank God for what he done did for me. Because he done did so much for me. I'm not crying about them bitches. I'm crying for my many, many blessings that God has given to me. And my many, many blessings he about to continue to bless me with. Thank you, God. I'm letting all y'all know God bless me. I think my period coming on. I don't give a fuck about your period. God bless me. And I thank God every day for a bitch to take Contacting me. Let's do this. Let's do this real grown. Let's get somebody to stay to do it grown. We can't all let each other get our point across. So I'll let you talk first. Hey, Soup, how you doing? I'm living. That's good. Me too. Go ahead and tell me what you want to say. So I'm I trying to see. So look, so when we, when the broad, Judy called me, I, bitch, I was in this whole presence for five minutes, if that. Right. When this whole called, um, Judy called me on FaceTime, this girl was on the phone with her sister and said her sister called you. Mm -mm. And you was talking about some um oh Judy should have been or Judy should have been um including me in this and and why she didn't include me and she cloud chasing this that and all that and the girl was trying and, and the girl sat in the car and say oh well this, this happened two weeks ago she kind of ain't want to do nothing for me before so why she calling me I think I was on the phone I was on the phone the argument had started okay super so let's rewind okay so first of all when I did the video I don't know if you seen the video or not but when I did the video I was not throwing shade at nobody. When the we, video we, went up. Wait, we ain't never seen you throw shit about in the video. Oh, no. You talking about what you, listen, listen, video listen, with let, me, let me tell, listen, I'm trying to tell you something. I just let you talk. You want to hear me talk or we ain't going to be able to do it. In the beginning, when the video went up, or whatever happened with that video, she said, the first Instagram post she put up, her caption was on some, like, shady stuff, but I didn't pay it no mind. I just was like, okay, cool. But Who post? Get, when Judy posted her post, she was like, that's her not use kaleidoscope and vine this, this, and that. But when I talked to Tokyo, Tokyo was like, nah, friend, you got to understand, people had cut that video video up and sent it to us, and it didn't look like that. And I was right. like, oh, okay, I understand it, you know what I'm saying? But when y'all seen the real video, she did whatever she did to fix it. Cool. The girl, how did this even happen? I was filming. Um, Judy FaceTimed my work phone, you understand? And she said, she FaceTimed, I didn't get the call, I didn't even know who it was, because I don't have a number locked no. in my phone. Right. I called back on the phone, she answered the phone, she said, I want you to answer the FaceTime because I'm trying to get this video to go viral. Who said that? Judy said this to me on my grandma. Okay. So, you know what I said? I said, you trying to get a video to go viral. Well, baby, you don't need me to get the video to go viral. Just send it out and make it go viral. Okay. She said, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. And hung up the phone in my face. I'm like, what the fuck? That threw me off. I know that's your friend. I ain't trying to talk about that shit threw me out like, you trying to get me to get a video to go viral, but you flying somebody out here supposed to be doing good deeds. You know what I'm saying? Why right. do I need to be in y'all video to go viral? So then I get on my Instagram and I got an inbox from somebody and I, and I read the inbox and I'm like, who the fuck it is? She was like, my sister is so hurt because you went go viral. You went go on live with her so you could see her makeover. I'm like, who is your sister? So then I look into it even more. Her sister is a girl without the edges. I never re I never went and reached out to the girl about her edges too because I felt like she came on my life asking me for advice about her hair. 
by me being a real cosmetologist, I just told her, like, that product, your hair being like it ain't got nothing to do with nobody product. You need to go see a dermatologist because you have alopecia. Right. It don't matter what product you use on that girl hair right now. It's not going to come back. For Judy products work for alopecia, but, but go ahead. They might do work for alopecia, but the kind she got scabbed and grew over the goddamn holes with pores open. Okay, I see. I ain't see all that. Yeah, so she gonna have to really go get the like they gonna have to get her uh what is that steroid shots in her head to make her her follicle open back up. Okay. Because her follicle's like gone. It's nothing. It's like a baby's ass. Well, no hair ain't growing in. And I ain't even being funny when I'm saying that. I'm just speaking. Okay? So the girl gets on the phone with me and I told the girl, I said, listen, I'm happy you got a makeover. That's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? She went to saying this saying that she was like, but Judy's upset with you, and I'm like, upset with me for what? Who said that? This is what the girl said who y'all was with. She was like, yeah, I met Super. I was like, Super, a, a sweet person. I just met Super the other day. You know what I'm saying? She was sweet. We hugged each other, whatever, whatever. Kept it moving. Five but minutes. I, but I never, ever met you before that other day. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So after she did that, the girl went to telling me, well, you know, they were talking about you real bad. And Super said, you ghetto. And I'm like. Bitch, I'm ghetto. Bitch, I'm ghetto. I said, why was Super say I'm ghetto? I was just with Super the other day. We both hugged each other. Everything Bitch, I'm ghetto. I'm going to say you ghetto and I'm ghetto. Listen, friend, I don't got no reason to lie on none of this. I don't got nothing to do with it. Judy down there talking in front of this girl. This girl recorded her. She recorded her. Recorded her. She recorded me, though. She didn't record you. She, 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 she didn't record you. That's something she didn't catch. Because it wasn't said, bitch. Well, bitch, I'm just telling you what the girl said, friend. You can't get upset with me, bitch, because of what this hoe said. I'm upset with you, bitch, because you could have reached out to me and said, oh, look, this girl day, said. I, said I, was upset. I had been already reaching out to Judy. Me and Judy been going back and forth. So I know you, Judy, friend, I'm staying out the way, but I'm just trying to figure out why Judy telling this girl I'm broke. I tried to charge her 7000 for an event, telling her what TV show I'm on. That girl don't need to know nothing about my motherfucking being the wet TV. Why you up there telling that girl that? And then you bring a problem like with me. You know me and Tokyo, we are friends. We cool with each other. I love Tokyo. I got nothing to get from. Right. Why would you come in between with me and talk doing even telling this girl my business? Because I never put that out. Right. So you being messy all around the board. She got you in this shit. Tokyo in this shit. And I know that y'all friend, no shade, but you doing all this shit. <sighs> oh my God, for a post. But you look. talk about me like a dog just so you can get something posted up and Nobody was never down in kaleidoscopes. You did all she did all that shit for herself. Bitch, what I see? Did I was I ghetto bitch? Time, you said I, I was ghetto bitch. Said you oh, you said me. I unfollowed you out Instagram you for fellow. something. Wait, look, I just listen. Look, you I, said I, I unfollowed you off Instagram I just for something. Told, told that. And get what I said. Get what I said. The girl told me that. The girl say, she, yeah, you unfollow her off Instagram. I said the only reason I unfollowed Super off Instagram because Super was following me back. I don't got nothing against Super. Girl, I swear for all this shit going crazy, all this shit come from somebody trying to get them some clout. That's all I'm saying, friend. No she shade. I'm trying to see when the fuck I said you was ghetto, you fell off, you bitch, you broke. No, you did not say I fell off. Um, Judy said I fell off and I ain't got shit. I don't do hell no more. Um, uh, since Tiny cut me off, my life been in shambles. I'm always looking for this, this, and that, this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? That's what Judy said. That didn't come off the recording from you. But I got Judy saying that on the record. So you got Judy saying that on the record. Like, you heard Judy say that yourself? I heard Judy say it myself, friend. And I don't want to put the girl up under the bus because it's bad. But I didn't hear you say that. The girl just told me you said I was ghetto. Because I wasn't around this bitch. I was in this but girl present. When, when her and Judy got in that truck and whatever they were talking about, the girl had on record. So at this point, it's like, stop, Judy. I don't even want to make Judy look that bad to put it out there with her voice saying all that because she's supposed to praise the Lord. She's supposed to be in the church. Therefore, you don't supposed to be worried about my downfall. You're supposed to be trying to goddamn empower women. So you done kept up all this shit today for a publicity study and I ain't fell. Shut up, Kelly. Come out, I'm ghetto. Your motherfucking ass ghetto. Bitch, that's why I'm like, bitch, how, bitch, how they gonna say I said you ghetto, bitch, when I'm ignorant, bitch, I'm big old hood. So, bitch, bitch, me saying you ghetto, bitch, is it? Then Lady, all I know I is up, I, I just met you the other day. Like, I just crazy. met you the, I just met you the other day. That's and, what I said. I said, and, I and, and I vibe that we about. got for the first time of me, we were good. It was a blessing. You finna get out of my page? Hold on, right quick. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking about this. whoever the fuck this is. She gotta go. She's being messy. You got to see you later, pool.
But like I said, I met you the other day. Everything was cool between us. It wasn't no drama. You a right. sweet girl. You getting your motherfucking money. You handling your business. But this shit with Judy, she your friend. Talk to her, man. Tell her it was meant for her. Gonna be meant for her. She don't got to do all that putting people in the mix because all this shit look bad. When this shit didn't even have to blow up this far. So look, so when Judy had, when Judy had text you, when Judy had text you, um, um, after the broad says, then why you didn't text her back? You know, like, why you didn't call and talk to yourself? You oh, know? my God. Judy, see that what I'm saying? Judy's a mind, mind fucking bitch, okay? Because I called that bitch. I called her three or four times. When we get out, I want you to inbox me your number so I can send you this shit. She went pick up the phone for me. I left it. She started screaming and hollering at me like I was her child. All this because I did not get on the... She wanted to film me seeing the girl house. So I was supposed to be like, oh, you look good. I'm just a blessing. <laughs> she wanted to catch me doing that, and I didn't do it. She went to... <laughs> like, girl, what the fuck wrong with you? What you catching? What kind of holy fever? Come trying to figure out what's up. Bitch. I ain't did shit. And the bitch talking about I'm broke and all this shit. Why you talking about me, Judy? If you rich, Judy, be rich. Because if I am broke, the sad thing is it's sad. You never know when that cookie turn back around. Bitch, I, I'm broke too. All I'm Here. saying was, I was I was upset the fact that I'm like, bitch, I, I, I just seen Shekinah Friday. So if this girl said, I said anything about it, why she couldn't call me person? What? Why she couldn't call me person? Because it's bad that you put in it. It really didn't even have to do with you. I wasn't in this bra present for five minutes. Not even, bitch, I'm talking about I went there, gave her the makeup, and walked out. I can't gain nothing from me giving, bitch. I give makeup out all the time, bitch. I can't gain nothing from me giving you no makeup, bitch. Ain't like you do makeup, bitch. Bitch, ain't like you got a following, bitch, for me to gain anything from you. That's just something that, that we be doing. Right. So, and then when she called me on FaceTime, uh, bitch, with the bra in the car, the bra was on the phone with her sister. And her sister was on the phone saying, oh, what Shekinah said, did Shekinah? She came back and said, what the fuck you supposed nah, to do? No, but that ain't, I'm telling you, you was on the phone. I don't know if you was in the phone present. It was a whole nother way. So you need to get Judy to start telling the truth and shaming the devil because it, it, it. You said I Judy Black? Maybe I need to go live again. All I know is. Bitch, I don't have Judy Black on my name, page. Bitch. And then Judy telling me, folks, she done spent plenty of money with me. I ain't never did shit. But one event with Judy and she paid for me a post. That's two times. I ain't never did no business with Judy. So it's just a lot. You don't got to try to make yourself look big on me because I ain't did shit to you. I'm going to send you them texts to your inbox if you don't send me your number so you can understand where I'm coming from with this shit super. Bitch, I just ain't like my name mentioned, bitch, like I'm hating on a bitch, bitch, because I could give two fucks. I could get three fucks. I didn't understand what was going on, my nigga. I'm happy we had this conversation. I need you and Judy to have a conversation, bitch. I don't want to talk to her. I heard what she said about me. I didn't hear you. She ain't never got to worry about Shekinah. I'm out that shit. I don't hate her. I want her products to keep going to the top. I want her to keep growing. I want her to continue to be blessed. But I ain't got nothing to never say to her again. I don't follow her on Instagram. We get up, I'm going to go refollow you because I don't have no pressure with you. None of this shit wouldn't even went on if somebody didn't go reaching for stuff. The video probably wouldn't even made the shade room and she would have never reposted it on her page. That's all I'm telling you. This I never posted that video. I never had nothing to do with it. I'm so hurt. This girl done set up and pulled y'all in this. You at Tokyo when y'all ain't got a goddamn thing to do with none of it. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to talk to her. You can't get me on the three-way with her because, see, I was on the phone with her. Right. I was on the phone with her. I done been sending her text. She sent me some text today talking about she got me in a book. She better take me out that motherfucking book. And my attorneys will be reaching out. Send me the recording. Oh, I am. I ain't going to send you the recording because I don't want the girl to get sued. But I'm going to send you these messages back and forth to her. Huh? Because that whole time, the NDA and all that, for her to even be trying to, bitch, run back and, and, and do all that messy ass shit, bitch, when she knows she was the one that even bought your name listen, up in the first Listen, place. listen, listen, super. No, she not, super. Listen, you got to understand that we got to be open-minded. I know that's your friend, but sometimes we have to tell our friends when they done done some wrong shit. That girl, that, that girl was so excited. She wasn't even thinking about me no more. Judy said, all I do is sit on live and clown people and drag people and make people feel bad. Judy had a lot of little stuff to say about me, and it went right because I never tried to make that girl feel bad. Your name came up because the sister called her. No, my name, had been, were... my name came up when I didn't get on, when I didn't let her record me on live. 
Your name came up on what? When I didn't let her record me. She had already got crunk with me on the phone before any of this stuff went left field. That's what even made me go to my Instagram to see what the fuck going on because the girl was so hurt that I wouldn't get on live, you know, that I wouldn't record with her. But that didn't have anything to do with me. And we were trying to collaborate together just like Judah know my number to FaceTime me to see the girl. Judah could have called me and said, she kind of let's get this girl a makeover. But she told the girl I was too broke to give her a makeover. Well, Judah ain't really spent no... Listen, Judah ain't said that. Judah ain't say that. Now, now, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, this whole doing too much. I can't. I can't doing too listen, much. Listen, the girl don't even know nothing about me trying to charge Judah 7000 for an event. The girl don't know nothing about a lot of little stuff she was saying. The girl don't know nothing about this stuff. What me and you linked up with the other day, the girl don't know nothing about that. The world don't know nothing about that. It's like on the low. They think they know, but they don't know. Right. And she told her, yeah, this bitch get up. Uh, you got to go because this not about you. You done kept up all this shit. I know I'm talking to your friend. Listen, Judy, you're cool. I wish you the best. I'm not calling you because I already reached out to you. I reached out to you this morning, sweetheart, and you did not want to respond. You sent me a long text. I'm letting you know now. Take me out of your book. Take me out of anything. I got anything to do with you because it's been blowed up. I understand that Super is your friend, but I'm explaining how I feel. And I don't want to talk to you because I know the things you said was wrong. And... You know, it's no reason for you to even come on here because I'm not giving you no more clout off me. If you were doing something for that girl out of kindness of your heart, you should have did it for her. And it shouldn't have been no Instagram thing. It shouldn't have been filmed. It shouldn't have been none of that because you were doing it for her. You can, we have the video. I don't care about the video, Judy. The, the video. See you later, Judy. You be blessed, girl. You can go live with her. Prospering with Kaleidoscope. See you later, okay? And that's your friend, and I'm not trying to put you in the midst. I love your makeup line. I love everything you're doing. I think you inspire all these girls to be great. I had a kiss. Come on. Give me a kiss. Thank you, niece. So I fuck with you, niece, because we work together. And we, we done built, before work, we build a bond. Before yes. work, we build a relationship. Yes. So that's why I fuck with you, because I like you, and I think you're talented. I know you gonna, you got what it do, go to take to the top. The other thing I'm talking about, let's go eat. Yes, baby, let's go eat. See, that's my other sister. I love her too. So listen, <laughs> she want a crab leg. Go ahead. I'm trying to say. So about the other people, it's the rap. And I'm sorry. And I hope you still love me. I'm going to love you forever. But like I said, I'm going to beat that whole up. You can beat up. But I don't fuck with the motherfucker, man. I wish you the best. I'm good. I'm good. God is good. He show you things. I got to pay attention. What you talk, bitch? Let me tell your fat ass something whole. Cause he uh, uh I just want to take um two seconds out of my day to address my great friends that participated in this project. I appreciate everything that y'all did. I apologize all the backlash that we're getting behind this. Um, you guys always jump in anything that I ever ask y'all to do, especially when y'all know it's something positive. So again, I apologize to y'all because and we, uh, we never saw this coming. I appreciate y'all for always being there, no matter what, no questions asked. Thank you, John. Thank you, Trina. Thank you, Trippy. And especially thank you, Super. And even Tokyo. Y'all never, y'all always me on any project that I do. Y'all always do. Y'all always do. So thank you for that. We, I never saw this coming. I, I was just trying to do a good deed. I don't know how this turned into that, but thank y'all. Thank y'all. Oh, and I'm sorry. Never saw this coming. This is going to be my last video about it. Due to this unfortunate circumstance, no more charitable anything will go through me. Everything has to go through my nonprofit organization. Period. Period. If me helping people is going to jeopardize my brand, uh -uh, nah. 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 So through my nonprofit, I don't know if you guys know, but I opened up Kaleidoscope Cares. Okay? It's it's gonna be all legit, all by the book. No, no, nothing spontaneous. I no no no. No. When God moves me, he's gonna move me to draw up the paperwork. He's gonna me he's gonna move me to move smarter. And I'm doing it through my nonprofit. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Look, all I just came on here to say is that you know. I ain't trying to, I was very grateful for what happened to me. I was very grateful for what happened. But, I know when I was used. You know when somebody used you. You know when you're being used. 
I'm apologize again. I am grateful for whatever Super Judy everybody did for me. I am very grateful for it. But I'm not about to, you know what I'm saying, like, um, keep kissing no ass or nothing. You know what I'm saying, like, really? You got a six hundred dollar wig on your head that you wouldn't have bought. You wouldn't have bought that. She had a. You, I, um, 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 wait a minute, let me, let me, let me, let me, wait a minute, let me, let me get you some one thing straight right there. Bitch, I got money. I ain't, I ain't never been have, broke. Ain't I got money. I could buy a wig. You ain't had no I, I could buy a wig. I could buy a wig. You came out there with a black, can, black and red wig on, bitch, and we would have let a match, you would have ended up like Michael J. See, now you're starting to play me. You gonna say I said that? Give a fuck about no motherfucking wig, bitch, I gave money. Oh, it's the wig. Damn, I can't even switch my camera around. We all see it. In the garbage. Burning. I'm going to see it. It's burnt up. All this crust down here. This it. This it right here. Oh, shit. This the wig. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Let me see the wig again. Hold on. I got to close the door. It's cold outside. This the wig right here. Girl, that ain't no goddamn wig. Shit, you this is the wig. I this is what it burnt to. I put it in this garbage. I put the wig in this garbage can right here. Was that human? How did that shit burn up like that? Let me see. The wig was supposed to burn up like that if it was human. Hell no. This the wig. They say it was. It's still smoking. But I, w I put it outside in the rain. I put it outside in the rain. Hey, baby girl, I want to look out for you. I want you to go see this dermatologist, coloscopes, and then I want you to start using them, and then I want to see your hair grow. Send me a picture in a couple weeks. Well, hello. I, I ain't, you know, in four weeks, he go, he, he go, he go a smart being the woman move. That's what I'm telling when you use your brain. That's all. And in three or four weeks, when she done went and seen a dermatologist and then gave her a shot in her head and I opened her follicles back up so hair can grow, yeah. then you got down, you, you, wait, you wait five weeks. And then after the five weeks, you have her send her pictures in and you say, look what Kaleidoscope has done for her. Right. Oh, that was strong, wasn't it? I mean, you know, but y'all know, you know, know about Y'all know about Don't be, don't be sipping on my pippin' all the time, talking about I'm slow and I'm stupid. But if it was my Y'all know about him. I don't know about him. All I can see is the bitch bald head and that whole mess. That's all I see. I don't see nothing else. I see that whole bald head and I thought I thought it was fun. All right, so if you have made it through this long ass entertaining video, you know what I'm saying, this drama that went on all day, um, I just want to leave with this final saying that, you know, it's really sad that when people go out to help somebody and look out for somebody, this is how they repay them. And, you know, I want to give all these women shout outs because all these women are entrepreneurs. You know, Judy's doing her thing in the hair care line. Supercent is doing her thing with makeup. I really wish I knew how to put on eyeshadow because I really want her damn makeup line so it's like I really want to try it but I'm so nervous because I'm not good with eyeshadows but you know I respect their hustle you, you know from you know growing up not really having anything coming from the hood I know Judy was a teen mother and now these women are certified millionaires and it's sad to see all of this drama you know ensue and people's brands being affected you know it's not a good thing and it's really sad that these black business women including Shekana Joe, you know all kind of got involved in this drama because like I said I like all these women. They're all doing their thing. shekinah has been in the game doing hair. You know, she has her own brand as well. I hope these women eventually just let, you know, bygones be bygones and move forward. But this is why it's really sad that you really can't help any and everybody. Because sometimes when you go to help people, things can come back to bite you. All you're doing is making it harder for the next person who might really want some help. 
Because at the end of the day, Judy's still going to get her money. Shekinah's still going to get her money. Superstan's still going to be paid. Tokyo Vanity's fine. You know what I'm saying? But when y'all do little stuff like that, that makes people just wash their hands of helping people in general. You know what I'm saying? This is why a lot of times people don't like to reach out to other people because at the end of the day, sometimes when you go out to help folks, this shit comes back to bite you in the ass. First time, shame on you. Second time, shame on me. Uh, there's not going to be a third time. So, you know, at this point, it just makes a lot of people, especially black business people, you know, black folks on social media, people who have a following, who have a brand, it makes people very hesitant to help folks because you never really know people's true intentions. And I think that what this woman did was just really childish and petty. And the fact that she started all of this drama was just unnecessary. You know, hopefully Judy reached out to her. You know what I'm saying? It was on some genuine shit and she really wanted to help her. And it wasn't because she was offended because her brand was mentioned in this viral video and it caused drama. I think she came from a sincere place because Judy has helped out many people before. But I think because of all this mess, it's going to make all these women, you know what I'm saying, and other people who are watching this play out, it's going to make people be very wary of wanting to help other people. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.